Welcome from Canada. So I just bought a Sunridge Coleman Fleetwood Sunridge, I think it's called. I don't know how long it is. I measured it sort of and all opened up it should come out to almost 25 feet. I paid $500 for it about a, um, two weeks ago and shoveled like crazy just to bring it into the yard. It's got brand new tires on it. Uh, what I know about it so far is, first of all, I have no papers for it. Um, I have a plastic thing on the roof, but it's not leaking. It's just so that nothing uh, in case, you know, you don't want water getting into it. I looked underneath, there is no water damage on the floor. It's missing a corner here, but I have it inside this little trunk space over here. Uh, the trunk space looks like he had water problems, so he stuck plastic on top of it. But that's a detail that doesn't that doesn't matter. Everything seems not too bad. I mean, it's aesthetic. I can I can fix all this. The only problem is he gave it to me without a key. What I can see from the side here is it has a fridge that works on three things: propane, 12 volt, and the plug. It has a water hookup and exit line. It has the plug over here too to plug it in. The hot water, the heater that was here, I guess. This was a hot water tank. Sorry, hot water tank has been taken out. Taken out. Uh, I noticed that uh, he didn't give me a key to it. Okay, it's missing a light cover there. He didn't give me a key. And what I've learned about it, what he told me, the only thing he told me about it is the people who sold it to him, and he just collects campers to resell them. He says that squirrels got into it and ate away at the tenth part of it. So I tried opening it the other day, and when I turn the handle to lift up the top, it doesn't lock, it just comes right back down, so you gotta hold it all the time. So I haven't really seen the top part. So the other day I grabbed the drill and drilled out the key to the door here so I could open it just because I want to see what it looks like. And uh, how does it work? Okay. So all I can see is half the camper. I see there's a fridge. I see it looks really clean inside. I think it's a 96. Not really sure anything about it yet. There seems to be a heater back there too, right there. The floor looks pretty clean and the beds are covering it so I can't really see what's on top of this part. So this is going to be a project I'm going to do this summer. So anybody who wants to follow because they want to see this thing raised up subscribe and I will keep posting but it will might be a month or so before I can do anything unless it gets really warm and all this snow melts off the top of it but right now I can't do very much but this is going to be my summer project is to lift up the roof and decide if I make it always up and surrounded by wood or if I fix We'll see. I really don't know what's going to happen with this thing, but it's for sure going to be a fun project. I was looking around for a trailer just to turn into a shed, and they were all like a thousand to three, four thousand dollars. So this big ass thing for what five hundred bucks? It's an investment because if ever it's a piece of junk, I take it all apart and I turn it into a trailer for putting four wheelers or ski doos on it or something but so far it's looking good <laughs> sorry anyway subscribe follow and uh, see what it looks like i'll film it being opened and you'll get the first view just like i do i'm anxious this is like pain in the butt when you can't open something and it's like having a present, you're not allowed to open it till Christmas, and you're like two months away from Christmas. But everything looks good. I see 
signs that there's some things that are weird like he stuck other lights on the bumper so his wires must be cut for the other lights uh, the guy took the spare wheel but I guess I don't need that it's a five bolt I can put a car wheel on it or something the roof looks good it's not cracked like I was saying he's got some kind of plastic on the side here but when I look on the net I think there was some kind of uh, retractable tent thing that goes here and it probably got rotten or something still seems hard underneath as long as water doesn't get in I'm happy anyway thanks again like subscribe if you're interested in seeing this project 1996 Sunridge Coleman Fleetwood. Thanks.